The air crackled with anticipation. The energy was palpable, a living, breathing entity that seemed to hover over the stadium, ready to burst at any moment. The stands pulsed with a sea of orange. Thousands of fans, each one a tiny dot in the grand mosaic, came together to form a vibrant, undulating wave of color and sound. This was Mestala, the home of Valencia CF, and tonight, the atmosphere was electric. The floodlights bathed the pitch in a brilliant glow, casting long shadows and adding to the drama of the evening. It was more than just a football match, it was a battle for La Liga points, a test of metal, a clash of styles. Every pass, every tackle, every shot on goal carried the weight of expectation and the promise of glory. For Valencia, a win meant climbing the table, inching closer to European qualification. It was a chance to reclaim their place among the elite, to remind everyone of their storied history and their ambitions for the future. For Legans, newly promoted, it was a chance to prove their worth against a giant of Spanish football. They were the newcomers, the underdogs, but they had a point to prove and nothing to lose. The roar of the crowd reverberated around the stadium, a potent mix of hope and anxiety. Every cheer was tinged with nervous energy, every chant a plea for success. The weight of expectation rested heavily on the shoulders of the Valencia players. They knew the stakes, they felt the pressure, but they also knew they had the talent and the drive to rise to the occasion. They had endured a turbulent few seasons, a far cry from their glory days. The memories of past triumphs were a constant reminder of what they were capable of, but also a source of frustration and longing. But under their new manager, a sense of optimism had returned. The fans believed again. They saw a team that was beginning to find its identity, a squad that was starting to gel and play with purpose. They chanted, they sang, they willed their team forward. The songs and chants were a symphony of support, a collective voice that echoed through the night. The noise was deafening, a wave of sound that threatened to engulf the pitch. It was a wall of noise, a relentless barrage of encouragement and passion. Legains, on the other hand, seemed unfazed by the intimidating atmosphere. They were focused, determined, and ready to take on the challenge. They were the underdogs, the minnows swimming with sharks. But they had a quiet confidence, a belief that they could defy the odds and make a statement. But they had a plan, a belief in their abilities. Their manager had drilled them well, instilled a sense of discipline and organization that would be crucial in facing a team like Valencia. Their manager, a wily tactician, had instilled a sense of discipline and organization. He knew that to get a result at Mestala, they would need to be resolute in defense, to weather the storm, and to be clinical on the counterattack. They knew that to get a result at Mestala, they would need to weather the storm, to be resolute in defense and clinical on the counterattack. Every player had a role to play, every move was part of a larger strategy. As the referee blew his whistle signaling the start of the match, the tension was palpable. The moment had arrived, the stage was set, and the drama was about to unfold. This was La Liga, where every game was a battle, and tonight, Valencia and Leganes were ready to fight. The stakes were high, the pressure immense, but both teams were prepared to give their all in pursuit of victory. Among the sea of faces, young and old, there were stories of lifelong devotion, of dreams and aspirations tied to the fortunes of their beloved team. Each fan carried with them a piece of the club's history, a personal connection that made every match a deeply emotional experience. The beauty of football lies in its unpredictability, the moments of magic that can change the course of a game in an instant. A single goal can ignite the crowd, turn the tide, and create memories that last a lifetime. For the players, the match was not just about the points, but about pride, about representing their city and their fans. They played with passion, with heart, knowing that they were part of something bigger than themselves. And for Legans, every match was an opportunity to write their own story, to carve out their place in the annals of football history. They played with a fearless spirit, unburdened by the weight of expectation, driven by the desire to prove themselves. The ebb and flow of the game mirrored the emotions in the stands. Moments of joy and despair, hope and fear played out in real time, a roller coaster of feelings that only football can provide. As the night wore on, the intensity only grew. The players pushed themselves to the limit, the fans continued to cheer with unwavering support, and the sense of anticipation and anxiety hung in the air, a constant reminder of what was at stake. In the final minutes, every second seemed to stretch into eternity. The tension was almost unbearable, the outcome still hanging in the balance. 
It was a test of nerves, of endurance, of sheer willpower. And then, with the final whistle, it was over. The battle had been fought, the outcome decided. For some, it was a moment of triumph, for others, a time of reflection and resolve. But in the end, it was the spirit of the game that shone through. The camaraderie, the sportsmanship, the shared love of football that brought everyone together. It was a night to remember, a testament to the enduring magic of the beautiful game. From the first whistle, Valencia asserted their dominance. The team came out with a clear game plan, showing their intent right from the start. Their energy and determination were evident as they took control of the game, leaving no room for Laganas to settle. They pressed high, forcing Laganas into mistakes. The relentless pressure from Valencia's forwards and midfielders disrupted Lagani's rhythm, making it difficult for them to build any meaningful attacks. Every time Laganas tried to push forward, they were met with a wall of Valencia players, ready to intercept and counter. The midfield trio of Solar, Rasik and Guides controlled the tempo, dictating the play with their precise passing and intelligent movement. Their understanding and chemistry were on full display as they seamlessly connected with each other and the rest of the team. Solar with his vision, Rasik with his strength, and Guides with his flair, formed a formidable unit that Lagani struggled to contain. The crowd roared their approval, urging their team forward. The atmosphere in the Mastala was electric, with fans passionately supporting their team. The energy from the stands seemed to fuel the players on the pitch, creating a symbiotic relationship between the team and their supporters. Valencia's early pressure paid off in the 18th minute. The breakthrough came as a result of their relentless attacking play and high pressing. The team had been knocking on the door, and it was only a matter of time before they found the back of the net. Goncalo Guides, the Portuguese winger, cut inside from the left flank, leaving his marker for dead. His quick feet and agility allowed him to glide past defenders with ease. As he approached the penalty area, the anticipation in the stadium grew. He unleashed a fierce right-footed shot that flew past the outstretched arms of the Laganas goalkeeper, nestling in the back of the net. The precision and power of the shot left the goalkeeper with no chance, and the ball hit the net with a satisfying thud. The Mastala erupted in a cacophony of noise. The goal sent the fans into a frenzy, with everyone on their feet, cheering and celebrating. The joy and excitement were palpable, as the supporters celebrated the team's hard-earned lead. The goal seemed to ignite our confidence. With the lead secured, the team played with even more freedom and creativity. The players' belief in their abilities was evident, and they continued to push forward, looking for more goals. We attacked with even greater purpose, our passing crisper, our movement sharper. The team's cohesion and understanding were at their peak as they moved the ball around with precision and intent. Every player knew their role, and the fluidity of their play was a joy to watch. Maxi Gomez, the Uruguayan striker, was a constant threat, his physical presence causing havoc in the Lagans' defense. His strength and determination made him a handful for the defenders, who struggled to contain him. Gomez's ability to hold up the ball and bring others into play was crucial to Valencia's attacking strategy. He came close to doubling our lead on several occasions, only to be denied by a combination of last-ditch defending and some inspired goalkeeping. The Laganis goalkeeper made several crucial saves, keeping his team in the game. Despite the near misses, Valencia's dominance was clear, and the team continued to press for a second goal. Despite Valencia's dominance, Laganis refused to crumble. The match had been a showcase of Valencia's attacking prowess, with wave after wave of attacks crashing against the Laganis defense. Valencia's midfielders orchestrated play with precision, threading passes through tight spaces and creating numerous scoring opportunities. Yet, Laganis stood firm, their defensive line a wall of determination and grit. They defended resolutely, throwing bodies in front of shots and frustrating the Valencia attackers. Every time Valencia seemed poised to break through, a Laganis defender would make a crucial interception or a last-ditch tackle. The goalkeeper too was in inspired form, pulling off a string of impressive salves to keep his team in the game. And then, against the run of play, they found an equalizer. It was a moment that stunned everyone in the stadium. The Laganes players, who had been on the back foot for most of the match, suddenly found themselves with a golden opportunity. A long ball forward from the Laganis defense caught the Valencia backline off guard. The ball soared through the air, bypassing the midfield and landing perfectly in the path of the Laganis striker. 
The Legane striker, a young, pacey forward, latched onto the ball, out-muscling the Valencia defender. His speed and strength were too much for the defender to handle, and he broke free, sprinting towards the goal with determination. He raced towards goal, his eyes fixed on the prize. The crowd held its breath as he closed in on the goalkeeper, the tension palpable. With remarkable composure, I slotted the ball past the onrushing Valencia goalkeeper, sending the small contingent of traveling Lagans fans into raptures. It was a moment of pure joy, a reward for their unwavering support and belief in the team. The goal seemed to knock the wind out of our sails. Valencia, who had been so dominant, suddenly looked vulnerable. The players' heads dropped and the energy seemed to drain from their legs. The crowd, so jubilant just moments earlier, fell silent. The shock of conceding a goal against the run of play was evident in their faces, a stark contrast to the earlier celebrations. Leganes, buoyed by their equalizer, grew in confidence. The goal had given them a new lease of life, and they began to play with more freedom and belief. They began to retain possession better, their passing more assured. The midfielders, who had been chasing shadows for much of the game, now found themselves dictating the tempo, stringing together passes and controlling the flow of the match. The game was now finely balanced, a tense tactical battle between two evenly matched sides. Both teams knew that the next goal could be decisive and the intensity on the pitch was palpable. Every pass, every tackle, every movement was executed with precision and purpose as both sides fought for supremacy in this thrilling encounter.